Hey everybody, and today um, I got my helper here, Jonathan, and we're going to do a drop test without a case. I know a number of people said that they didn't like the fact that I used a case the last time, and uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do it without a case. Um, I get it, uh, you know, I just it was an S7 before and kinda, you know, didn't wanna ruin that. So what I did was I went out and got two iPhones here. I got an iPhone 4. Obviously, I'm sure we'll all agree that the iPhone 4s compared to the current iPhones, um, definitely wouldn't be as strong. So we're going to put liquid glass on the white iPhone and not on the black one. And then we're going to, from there, drop both of them. And within our drop test, we're going to see how these each of these devices fare and at what distance do they crack. So first we're going to go ahead and put the liquid glass on this device. My helper, you want to hold this? Yeah. So the first thing we'll do here, to okay, put clean off the screen. Yeah, but that's always important. With our liquid, uh, with our um, alcohol swab. It's always important to clean a phone before you put liquid glass on it. That's right. Okay, so we'll clean it. Now we're going to go ahead and put the liquid on. Yep. All right. Yeah. Want to do this so that everybody sees that we actually put it. So there it is. All right, so I'm going to hit my, use my applicator here. And you simply just go up and down with it in straight lines. Get the liquid glass on. Because both the front and the back are glass, uh, if I have any residue left over or any liquid remnant on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and put a little bit of that on the back as well. Why not? So now the idea is to let it sit there for a few minutes and allow the glass to absorb. Um, they say you could just buff it right off, but I like to kind of let it sit in there a little bit and, um, you know, actually absorb into the glass, fill into all the holes. Once that's done, then I can go ahead and buff it off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our camera, put it on the floor, and we are going to drop test these. We're going to put both of the cameras uh, facing downward, and we're going to drop them at um, chest height, waist height, and then uh, head height, and then see, see where, how we fare on each of these. So we'll go from there. And now we're gonna stand here, and I'm gonna hold both of these phones face down, just about waist height, and then we're gonna drop them. Ready? Put mm -hmm. the camera down. Perfect. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. All right. And they didn't necessarily fall flat, so nothing on that, so we're gonna try it again, waist height. Put them both in front of each other. And still good on both of these. Oh my gosh. Now just scratch on. So head height again. Straight down. Still nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this out onto concrete. Okay, so put the camera down. All right. So now we're going to do it out outside. Um, All right. All right. Again, face down. Uh, probably about chest height. Uh, sorry, waist height. black one is completely shattered. One drop on the concrete and the white one is still fine. Perfect. So um, let me try it again. Um, <laughs> white one is still fine. Black one's probably a little bit worse than it was and then the back of the black one's messed up. Uh, maybe, it, maybe it turned that way but black one's pretty, pretty beat. Now I'm just gonna go to ear height. Make sure we can be, I can be seen on this. Drop them again, right here, right my head. Right. <coughs> white and one way better? I don't know. I don't know whether or not the white one went face down or not, but um, we're gonna try again. Wow, this white one is really strong. Still good. Let's try it one more time. This time, this time it did break. Um, as you can see, it did break. Um, I would say uh, iPhones, as we know, are iPhone fours, as we know, are v definitely much less strong than in, than uh, current models. But 
the liquid glass, I dropped this one like eight times more than this one. And this one's still completely smashed and shattered, broken pieces out of the corner. This one finally broke after five drops on the concrete, at least, probably even more than that. So, uh, you know, will it hold up forever and, you know, perfectly? Probably not. Um, but uh, the amount of beating that this thing took was pretty impressive. So I think it's uh, conclude, we can conclude that the liquid glass did its job. Thanks for watching.